Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch with your host, South Africa's whiskey couple, myself, Gustav. And Elna. And you are watching Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 226. In this video, Haig Club Clubman. That is the whiskey that we are going to review. We're going to recommend a food pairing, food pairing snack and then we're going to compare it with two other single grain whiskies. Okay. One from Scotland and one from South Africa to determine which of the three is our favorite. But for today, the focus on Clubman from Haig Club brand. And this brand was founded in 1627. I did not expect that it was founded. No, long time ago. I mean, that is like 1617, 18, 19, almost 400 years ago, situated in Edinburgh. And owned by the House of Haig. And David Beckham apparently is part of the ownership okay. of this brand belonging to John Haig and Company. So this is a no age statement, single grain from the House of Haig from Scotland, matured in ex bourbon casks, okay. which is actually stated on the bottle. Okay, it's got an ABV of 43%. So I think so. I must read some more. Yes, there you can see it. Just like Alma said, but it's in gold here at the bottom, so it's not that visible, 43. But then it says here at the back, um, enjoy mixed with cola or ginger ale for a stylish drink with a refreshing and smooth taste. So okay. this single grain whiskey produced mainly for mixing with mm. cola or a single grain but wait let's do the let's see let's do the let's decide yeah, ourselves let's see what is going on here with this blue bottle that we have here and i'm spilling a drop here so there we go you can see the color there probably not natural color i would say color is more or less pale straw pale straw I'll just get rid of that drop there Oh, alcohol, alcohol on the nose. Bam. I would say grassy. It's almost burning you. Yeah, yeah. And then a grain sweetness grassy. behind the alcohol. Corn sweetness. I would say pine forest. Pine needles. But definitely grassy. Lively vanilla. That's what I'm getting no, on vanilla. the nose. Yeah, I also get vanilla. Let's okay. go. Let's see on the panel. Wow. Vanilla. Sweet. Sweet vanilla. Sure, but Anna, it's crispy and it's fresh. It's crispy. And it's prickling. On the vanilla. tongue. Alcohol on the nose and on the palate. It's, it's, it's light corn sweetness. Mm. And the finish is short. Then it's there and then it's like gone. Yeah, no, it's very short. No, the finish is very short. And what's left is the spicy warmth at the end. Yeah, yeah. 43% here in South Africa. So with a few drops of water. So mainly, mainly the thing that stays with you is the, the sweet grain. Yeah. And the vanilla. That's what's mainly staying with with you in terms of impression yeah. but now with the water the nose is still vanilla still sweet you can see the effect there of the water it is not a whiskey that i would use for a sipping whiskey no, that, that no. is for sure no definitely not after the water i'm picking up a little bit of a toffee note on the other side of the alcohol on the palate i still have the vanilla I would say it's a little bit more rounded now mm. with water. A little bit more rounded. But like Not they much. say, Not much, but cola really. or ginger ale. So we've got good old ginger ale. And let's see what happens with a little bit of ginger ale. Not to be sipped. Rather add a bit of ginger ale and then take it from there. I think a few ice cubes. On a, on a nice, hot, sunny day. A, summit, a, a summer, sunny South African day with 
like a long drink. Yes. Lots of yes. ice. Now I'm just getting ginger ale. I'm not... Nothing else there. No, definitely nothing else. No, it's... Nothing else. I don't think... No. It's not my drink of no, preference. No, no. No, I agree. Even with, no, even with not, ginger ale. Not even with ginger ale. Yeah, I know I agree with that. So in South Africa, this is priced at uh, less than 300 rand. 280 okay. rand, more or less. Translates to... To what does that translate? 15... 15 pounds? 18 pounds. More or less, yeah. Maybe 20 pounds, 25 dollars. Mm -hmm. But we want to compare this. I'm, I must say, I like the bottle. I it's like the bottle. bluish bottle. It's something different. It's I like with a white um, letters. I like the bottle. There is an Irish. I said we were going to compare it with another Scottish single yes. grain at the beginning yeah. of the year, but yeah. it's an but Irish, Irish single grain from Teeling, which is at least double the price in South okay. Africa. And then we have our very own internationally awarded South African Baines Cape Mountain Whiskey, which is also a single grain at the same price as this. Okay. Give or take okay. 20 rand. No, so, 20 rand, 20 pounds. No, 20 rand. Oh, 20 rand. So, oh, I see. So I give or take one pound. One pound, yeah. So, Anna, that is the Baines. What do you think of the Baines comparing compared to what you've tasted? Mm. I have got the... Uh, the nose. I have got the um, the teeling. Mm, I love the nose. Much more character to this to this nose for me. Um, layers to the teeling single grain yeah. nose, but we're not going to go into a lot of depth. But much more impressive for me this. No, definitely comparing to um, the Hay Club. There's a lot planes, of. Definitely there's planes. a lot going on there in the. That one as well. It's warm. Sure, it's going to be interesting. I want to know what is your favorite. Between the Baines and the Tilling. And uh, the Hague Clubman. So there's a lot of writing on here. But I know this was matured. In a couple of casks, aged mm. for five years in X wine casks. Mm. So a different maturation when you talk about the teeling whiskey, single grain from Ireland. Oh, I love this. Is my favorite nose. The Baines is my favorite nose. That's for sure. Very, 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 very. It's got a nose. mild, smooth. Inviting nose. If I consider okay. price as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. and my experience of these three single grains, then my choice is, without any doubt, the Baines, mm -hmm. the Baines whiskey. It is just a delight. We forgot to do the pairing with the Clubman. Mm -hmm. You know that. Oh, yeah. We just because, skipped the yeah. whole pairing experience. We're just too excited to, to get to the, to next, get to the whiskey. next whiskey. So yeah. maybe we yeah. just pair our pairing that we intended for the hike, which is vanilla yeah. wafers um, that comes out a little bit white on the camera. I'm just going to do this pairing with Baines. Why not? Yeah, I, I would also prefer not now. I'm, I'm going to do it with the Baines whiskey, okay, which is I'm going to do it with the teeling. But which is your preference out of the three? Your preferred out of the three is single grain. Baines. Maybe yours as well. Truly South African, but Baines. It's not that I don't like teeling. I like teeling, mm. but it's um. It's Very good, but considering the price as well. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Definitely. Vanilla wafer, mm. Mm. Baines Cape Mountain whiskey, made from South African yellow corn. Now this. Let me swap with you. Oh, you also want to try that? I want to try this pairing with 
But the, the tea with leaf, the leaf wafer is like a vanilla explosion in your mouth. I it's completely really destroyed this wafer in this. There's nothing left of it. I'm just going to take the mm. next one. The pain's got a beautiful nose. Mm. Mm. No, the pairing goes with... You see, you, with you the cannot go wrong. As well with, um, you with can't go bit. wrong. Single grain mm. vanilla wafer. Can't go wrong. You can't go wrong, yeah. Or what we have in South Africa is a milk tart. Mm. Cold from the fridge milk tart goes absolutely fantastic with a single grain whiskey. So our preference, Baines, do you think Baines. we're a bit partial to South African products? Maybe, but uh, for, for this video, we can be proud, proudly South African. Might be. So, thank you for watching, joining us on this review of the Clubman from the Hague brand. And we hope to see you in the next video coming up soon. Until then, slant.